and welcome to your setup class. Uh, this is all the components of your display. What we've done is we've pre-polled them based on the assumption that you know how to take things out of the case. So, moving on from there, this is basically all the things that you're going to need to create the system that your banner stands will be used within. It is what we call a, uh, what I would classify as a type of a tinker toy build, meaning it's not a pop-up type scenario, it is a build assembly. That being said, it's a very easy build assembly. You have your vertical posts and your horizontal posts. Just so you know, there is a secondary horizontal post included, so there's an additional three components. You do not need those three components at this, at this time. We included them so that you are ready to grow in the future. And we'll discuss that later once you're ready to move ahead. So, when you open your case, the first thing you'll see is three more posts than you're actually going to need for this install. These are all the pieces you'll need. Every post has a tab inside of it that will tell you a piece count. Number three, number two. They'll be duplicated as required. There's two number twos, there's two number threes. They're going to correspond with your setup instructions, which I will show now and then put away forevermore. Please reference those setup instructions though if you need them. The assembly is really basic and easy. The first thing to keep in mind is the assembly is really basic and easy. You don't need to short circuit, you don't need to fret. Just take your time and relax and you'll do just fine. These are called squeeze connectors because they squeeze. And you push them together, insert it into the first post. Take the second post. The second post, you'll notice, has a stopper at the bottom. This is going to be so we can connect it to the base plate. So you want that part down. There's also little up stickers inside that tell you where the post should go as far as the upward angle. Again, to get this second uh, post connected, you'll need to squeeze the squeeze connector again. What I'm doing at this point is I'm just trying to guide the squeeze connector. I'm gently pressing it. So it's just about half and half between the two extrusion posts. I just don't want to just let it go by itself and not get enough of a bite on either end. Once you get it close enough that you feel comfortable, get your hands out of there. These are extrusion posts. You can kind of pinch yourself. I do about nine times out of ten. And lay it down. You're going to repeat the same process on the second vertical post. There's only one way that the squeeze connector can go in as well. That's what I was looking for at that point. Push it down. As a side note, you want to keep everything within your booth space as much as possible. That includes packaging. We obviously have the luxury of a much bigger space than normal. But that being said, everything can be built within your space. Your horizontal post is three sections instead of two. The reason that that was done was so that it would span three banner stands and still fit within the shipping case. There's a middle section which is open on both ends. And there are two end panels, open on one end and outfitted with little pinch connectors at the other end. What you're going to want to do is just assemble those in order. There is no left or right. There's just two exact pieces. This could have easily gone on the other end as well. Again, take your time. You have all the time in the world. 
that would normally be the end of it. What we're going to do, though, to make sure that this has the rigidity that we need to last the entire length of the show, is we're going to take these little connectors that we're going to film after the fact. We'll give you quick preview shots of them. And they are with four locks. You slide them right over till they're about half and half, two on each side. Again, the purpose of this is just to make sure that that horizontal bar does not start to sag at any point. So you do want all four of them to be tightened down, all four screws of each connector. And there are two connectors per piece. We're typically going to see these things on the top and on the back side. Because our graphic will go on the front side of it. And we want that space open so we can put our standoffs on. We're going to place that down. The verticals as well have a slide connector. What I'm going to do with these, just to speed the process along, is just connect two, or tighten down two of each, but we still recommend that you do all four. still laying flat on the ground. I want the unit flat on the ground so that when I make this connection here, it's flush. These connections are important because if you don't connect them correctly, it'll feel like they're locked in, but they're not. So you'll need a quarter turn to make it connect and you just want them to be at a 90 degree angle. You should feel it bite. And then if you're anything like me, give it a little shake, just to make sure that you've got it tightened. We're gonna do the other corner as well. did is we did this at the top alignment. There is no rule stating that you have to do that though. You could knock it down a little bit if you wanted to, uh, to bring the top bar down a little bit if, if so desired. And when we set it up you'll see that a little bit more and I'll explain that with the signage. The only thing that you want to keep in mind is that if you do assemble the bar at a lower level, you want it to be equal on both vertical posts. At this point, what we need to do is stand the frame up and flip it over so we can put our graphic on. I'll ask Bill to come in and help me do that. We highly recommend that two people do this, unless you have a 10-foot arm span. So again, this is going to give us another opportunity just to make sure that our top bar is secure. We are going to do this gently, and we're going to do it together. Try to keep all the elements away from your head as much as possible. And 
at that point.